Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. I am Prabhu and you are watching this video from CyberCAD Solutions. In this session, I would like to explain what are system variables in AutoCAD and how we are going to use them in our AutoList programs. AutoCAD system variables store different informations means different values related to drawing, AutoCAD and computer related. All these in different variables which are none other than AutoCAD system variables. If you want to know some of them just type set where at the command prompt and press question mark and press enter again. So you can see in the text window so many AutoCAD system variables are displayed over here. If you keep pressing enter you can see so many variables are being displayed in text window in alphabetical order. So what are all these? So let us see some of them. Here C date is current date, CE color is current entity color, CEL type is current entity line type. Like that, so much information related to current drawing and AutoCAD settings as well as computer settings are also stored in AutoCAD in the form of AutoCAD system variables. Okay, then how we are going to use them? That's what we are going to see now. Let us see one of the system variable how we are going to use it in our programs that is object snap setting. Generally if we want to set any object snap we will go to O snap and we will switch on which of the object snaps we would like to use and say OK. If you want to do the same thing through AutoList program we should use a variable called OS mode. OS mode. If you type OS mode and press enter you can see the current bit code of the object snap settings 39 so what is this 39 if you go to o snap so end point midpoint center intersection combination of all these different object snaps bit code is nothing but 39 let us clear all and switch on only end point say ok now type os os mode and see what is the code it is 1 similarly go to o snap clear all take only midpoint and save ok now take os mode so it is showing 2 like that for end point 1 for middle point 2 for center point 3 like that there are different codes and you don't have to remember all this if you want to know a combination value then go to o snap and switch on whichever settings you want and simply save ok and come to command prompt and type os mode you can see its code the same code we can set through our AutoList program. So how? Let us see. Go to Visualist by DE and take a new sheet and the function which we use to set a system variable in AutoList is setWare. SetWare. Its syntax is very simple. Setware and the variable name and then value. Okay. So let us try to set a variable setWare and in double quotes its name is OS mode and the value which I would like to set is say 1 which means end point. So select this statement and click load selection go to AutoCAD and check O snap. You can see 1 means end point only. 1 means switch on only end point. So hope you understood how we can set OS mode through our AutoList program. So let us see what is the use of this OS mode setting sometimes what happens let us say we have a requirement like this if you select a line after pressing our command there should come a circle at the start point of the line so for that we shall write a small program go to visually spy de and i am writing program like this program to place a circle sorry place a circle at start point of selected line okay so program is like this define c colon one is my command and and write it like this if set q line cr of ent cell is our function to select the line and get its name so select a line hope the person has selected the user has selected a line so then what to do that we need to write what to do we would like to draw a circle so first of all set q so ldb is a line database and to get line we will get 
line database from that let us try to get the start point through like this so stp is cdr of assoc 10 in the 10 dxf code we will get start point of the line so from ldb let us try to get the start point here i want to draw the circle so i am taking command method command circle at stp with radius 2 that's what i would like to do so like this i want to draw a circle at the start point now just check this code go to tools check this selection and then go to tools and load the text in the editor our command is one so go to autocad and use this command so i am typing one before to that i would like to say one more thing let us go to osnap settings and clear all the settings and set it to midpoint and say ok ok what is the purpose i'll explain later first of all what is our command our command is one so i'm typing one at the command prompt and pressing enter now it is asking to select a line i have selected this see the circle has come at middle point instead of end point but the point which we have read is the start point of the line only then why is it coming at the middle point because we have used command method so it is the object snap setting is taking precedence the object snap setting is taking priority so that the circle is being drawn at middle point so in such cases we have to use either end make method like this and to make radius as 2 like this we have to use just load this uh, window and go to autocad now if you type command 1 you will get the circle properly otherwise what to do we have to set object snap setting to 0 before we draw the circle ok I am making this comment and use the same method command circle at stp with radius 2 so we want to go with the command method only then what to do we have to go to the starting after selecting the line set the object snap setting to zero first of all and after drawing the circle set it back to the original code so first of all read the existing object snap setting so set q existing os mode is we have another function to read the existing code that is get where get where will return the current value of given AutoCAD system variable. So OS mode value currently will be stored in existing OS mode. Now set where OS mode to 0. Okay. And copy this. After drawing the circle, set it back to existing OS mode. Okay. That's all. And let's localize all the variables line xos mode ldb stp that's all now go to tools check text in the editor no errors and again go to tools and load text in the editor and go back to autocad now type one at the command prompt select the line now we are getting properly why we have set and also ensure that if you go to o snap and check your and middle point object snap is same because we have reset it back to the existing value so this is how we will use AutoCAD system variables and we will manage them by using getWare and setWare. Okay. So like this, we will be using AutoCAD system variables. And one more example I would like to explain here also in the same program. That is, let's go to AutoCAD and use the same command 1 and select the line and see we got the circle but in the command prompt if you see specify radius of circle 2 means the command responses are being print in the command prompt so if you want to if you do not want to print command responses if you want to hide all the responses that are given by the autocad for command methods we can do that one using command echo switching off so how to switch off command echo we have another variable called cmd echo let's go to visualist ide at the start of the program switch off the command echo and at the end of the program again set it back to on so i am doing like this set where cmd echo to zero at the beginning and at the end of the program let us set it back to 
one which means on now again go to tools load the text in the editor go to autocad now type one at the command prompt it is asking select a line this is our select a line is our prompt which we intentionally given so i am selecting this line okay now you see we got the circle but there are no responses after the select line means the command echo has been switched off and it has been set back to original value after the command completion like this we can change system variable values in our artolis program and if you want to know what are the different variables available you just go to setware command type setware at the command prompt type question mark and press enter you will get all the system variables those are available in autocad you just study one by one and you can get what is its meaning what value it will store in help documentation friends hope you understood how to use system variables in autolist program and how to change their values using setware and how to retrieve their values using getware friends if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session